All right. Next up, another presenter to introduce the Ring Video Doorbell. He's back for a second appearance after such a success the first time. Let's hear it for Michael Miller. Come on back up here, Michael. Well, um, we just saw that in a wonderful thing, and it reminds me of the Saturday night skit, No Coke, Pepsi, you can tell. Let me try another joke. Knock, knock. Well, if you really want to know, you may need this next product, which will be the Ring Video Doorbell. And here to show us is Jamie Simonoff of Ring. All right, well, I'm here. Um, thank you so much for having us. I'm really excited to show you the Ring Video Doorbell. So here's just a quick video to uh, show you the doorbell. Oh. Should be a quick video to show you the doorbell. There we go. Introducing Ring, the world's most advanced doorbell. The Ring Video Doorbell brings convenience, monitoring, and security to your most valuable asset, your home. Ring streams HD video and audio seamlessly over wireless internet to smartphones and tablets. Ring makes it convenient to see and speak with whomever's at your front door anytime from anywhere. Hello. Delivery for Aaron Parker. Thanks, you can leave it at the door. And Ring's configurable motion detection makes it easier than ever to monitor your home. <gasps> oh, I see you, Timmy Stevenson. With Ring's unique cloud recording feature, <laughs> you can easily access, rewind, or share your video events. And when it comes to security, Ring lets you give the appearance of being home, even when you're not. Hello, sir. I'm selling cases of Primo Clean. Can I put you down for a box? Uh, you know what? We're kind of busy right now, bathing the kids. <laughs> Maybe some other time. So. I think you get it on the last one, he might not have kids that he's bathing. Um, and that's what's cool about the Ring Video Doorbell, is that you can answer the door from your couch using your smartphone or tablet, or literally from a restaurant, or even from up on stage here. Um, some of the cool things about the Ring Video Doorbell is not just what it does, but how we do it. So it's actually a dual-powered design. It has a 5,200 milliamp battery in it, which is like a few iPhone batteries. And so it'll last for one year on your front door, and then you just recharge it with a micro USB, so just like a cell phone. So even if you don't have a wired doorbell, which about half of us don't, uh, you're able to install this device in just minutes and have it working for you. Now, what we think is great about the Internet of Things and putting chips and all this connectivity into devices is that you can take something like a doorbell. So when I'm at a party, I tell people I make doorbells and they laugh at me. But, but you can take, no, no, don't you laugh at me. Um, <laughs> But we can take something as simple as a doorbell and turn it into a device that actually really matters in the world. So my wife, this is the first product that I've ever built that she really enjoys. And the reason she enjoys it is because when I'm in Vegas for this week and she's home alone, when someone comes to the door at, say, 7 p.m., she can answer the door and feel safe doing it, knowing that it's recorded, that she's not up at the door, she's not having to answer it, open the door and talk to someone. So it really allows us to transform that experience in a way that's much better than just sort of making the doorbell online. And that brings us to what our real goal is. Our, our real goal as a company is actually to reduce crime in communities. So we're now a doorbell manufacturer who thinks that we can actually impact the amount of crime in communities. And not every investor we've talked to fully understands that when we tell them that we can reduce crime in communities. If you can go to the tape. All burglars ring the doorbell first. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, though, Mark? That's actually true. Burglars are not usually violent criminals. They want to see if someone's home. They want the opportunity to go into a house that does not have people in it. So it's actually true. So people do that, that was from Shark Tank. Um, that was a, it was a fun thing when Mark Cuban sort of was goading me, saying that burglars ring doorbells. And he's actually right. In fact, if we go to the stats, there's one million daytime burglaries per day. And right now, since we've been here, over 100 people have been burglarized in the US not being home. And that's why things like the Ring Video Doorbell are so important. Thank you so much. Well done. Ring Thank Video you. Doorbell. Come on, guys. Tommy Stevenson's not going to walk that dog there anymore. 
I'd love to catch that Tommy Stevenson, I'll tell you.